pretty excited today. Um, I have been hoping and praying that a van would come up. And ideally, I want a small, normal cargo van. It'd be really nice if it had a, you know, lifted roof in it. Um, barn doors in the side. Back windows. Definitely an armrest. Power windows, power doors, and air conditioning. That's really not asking that much, you would think. But I've had a hard time finding one um, in this area and with good mileage and yada, yada, yada. It's, it's just, it's a whole thing. <laughs> it might have one, but it doesn't have the other of all the things that I want, right? So this morning, a van appeared on Kijiji and it was posted, I think yesterday. He had two people look at it this morning. So when I first posted, he was like, ah, oh, I already have two people looking at it. If it's still around after, I'll let you know. And I was like, okay, and kind of moved on, kept searching, right? Well, he messaged me back and he's like, they're interested, but they haven't put a deposit on it. So if you want to come and check it out, come and check it out. So I'm going to go check it out. It is not a normal cargo van. <laughs> it does not have the barn doors that I want. It does not have back windows. It does have armrests from what I understand. I believe it has air conditioning and I'm hoping it has power windows and power doors. But at this point I didn't even ask because I'm just I'm really getting excited and just want one. I think, you know, it's a little give and take. I'm gonna pass this car. It's driving a little too slow for me today. It's doing 60 and an 80. All right, so off I go to check out this van. And I don't know if I can share this with you or not because I might be too nervous when I get there to be like, hey, can I video this too? Um, so we'll see how it goes. But even if you don't get to see inside of it, like I'll probably show you as we're getting close, maybe take a couple pictures. Um, but if I don't get to do a video there, um, I'll chit chat with you about it after and we'll, we'll just see what happens. But I'm kind of hopeful. <laughs> I'm kind of hopeful. Oh, I'm really hopeful. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. So that there on the left hand side is Maya's school. We're just driving through Elgin right now on our way to Kingston. I can't even help but make those perky sounds. I just, I keep saying to myself, I'm not going to get excited. I'm not going to get excited. I'm not going to get excited because you only get let down. But I get excited every single time. <laughs> I'm just hopeful. Always hopeful. <laughs> and that's the Lions Hall on the left. Of course, every town has a cemetery. I believe it's the Presbyterian Church or the United Church. I can't remember. It's going to be on the left right here. I can't remember. United. United Church. There's only like really two streets to this town. It's a cute little town. Post office we just passed on the left. Funeral home on the left. Bank on the right. Grocery store on the right. Um, and then some miscellaneous little stores. We used to have a hardware store down here, but I don't even think we have one anymore. And there's the only restaurant in town. And the lawyers beside it. And then there's Corey Sly's um, small engine shop. And then there's the Pentecostal church. And then we're getting back on the highway. So we've arrived, and this is the back of the van. And here's the side view. We've got windows that open up that have screens.
cute little step there on the side. Ooh, the size of that windshield. And then here's down the other side. Again, another window with a screen. It's got shore power right there. The back doors open up all the way, like all the way that they fold right up against the back sides. I'll show you in the front seat here. We got these deep pockets. Here is our front area. Look how big that windshield is. Ah! Um, we've got a cute little McDonald's tray. And um, these are, I, do, I can't do it with one hand, but they're swivel seats, both of them. Bam! Um, I can't seem to open up the back door. It locks automatically for some reason. So, we'll just do it this way. We'll just do it this way, everybody. It's a little dark, but we've got this cute couch area. Let's see if I can open this up now. There we go. Here's just a second. You can see that we've got some insulation in there. It was a good spot to actually check the insulation. We've got the couch area and lots of storage underneath there. Um, under this side here has a little drawer or door that he's made. I can't do it with one hand, um, but that's where the battery pack is. So I seem to get it open right now, but he had it open. No problem. <laughs> there is a little heater under here. Okay. But let me see if I can give you a full view this way. There we go. So it's got this cute little sink. It's got lots of baskets, lots of basket area up here. It's got a bathroom, um, what do you call it? Um, vanity medicine cabinet. It's got baskets all along the top. Again, that window opens and so does that one. And then we've got the full size fridge, microwave, little cubby area. The bathroom that has a bifolding door on it. Lots of hooks and baskets. And then in this corner, it's hard to see, but that is all bed. And yeah, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So um, lots of storage under there though. And I don't think I can get the back doors open without the key. Everything is key. Everything is key, yeah, everything is key. But there we go. And if you want to know the best part about this van, you want to know what the best part is? The best part is it's mine. I bought it. I bought a van. And it'll be ready on a Wednesday. Because we're celebrating getting a new van, we're also going to try a new muffin. <laughs> It's all about new things today. So, of course, you know, being in Canada, I stopped at Tim Hortons. Um, I wanted a lemon pumpkin seed muffin, but they got rid of them and they brought pumpkin spice muffins. And it looks like pumpkin seeds in it. I'm not typically a pumpkin spice kind of person, but I'm like, hey, it's a day for new things. <gasps> I think there's cream cheese in it though. It's definitely pumpkin. And pumpkin is supposed to be good for your stomach. It's not horrible. <laughs> it smells definitely pumpkin. I think that's cream cheese right there. 
It definitely is, but it's like the tiniest little dollop in there. Just the tiniest little dollop. Makes you wonder, is it supposed to be in there or was it like a, oops. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I would order it again. The pumpkin seeds are good. They're kind of candied from the sugars, but yeah. Just in case I didn't like it though, I did get a blueberry one as backup. <laughs> Next year, if they come out with the lemon ones, you definitely, definitely, definitely want the lemon poppy seed. They're the best. Anyways, I better get back on the road. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till next Wednesday when I get to bring that baby home. <laughs> okay, so quick update. I didn't get to bring it home yet. It'll be next week, but I'm so excited. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Please make sure that you have subscribed and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.